Hello, hello, hello. It's that time. It is Saturday at 3 o'clock and we are live here with Recipe of the Day. And how is everyone doing today? It is a beautiful day here at the beach. A nice fall day, 75 degrees at the beach, which is always great and awesome. Uh, just getting you guys to pull up here so I can see your comments. So give me your comments and your likes. And if you're watching this on the replay, hashtag re replay. Because um, I always love to see your comments and your DMs when you write in. Um, we are going to be continuing today with a couple more ideas for Thanksgiving. Some new ideas. We are going to be making this chocolate slab pumpkin pie, I guess. Maybe a pie or a bar. Oh my gosh, delish. And then I'm also going to be making a new idea for a side for Thanksgiving. We're going to be making a Brussels sprout, a shaved Brussels sprout salad with um, pomegranate seeds and fresh parm and avocado. It's going to be delicious. But I'm going to start here with this pumpkin deliciousness. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is um, show you guys. I made the crust already because I needed to bake it and cool it. But I'll show you that I made this in... Um, a uh, cookie sheet. So this is Oreo cookies crushed up and made into a crust. You guys can see. But that is what's here. And I baked it for 12 mi uh, minutes. And then I um, uh, just let let it cool. So, oh, I was going to heat this up a little bit. You know what? You heat that up for like 10 seconds. I forgot. I'm going to heat that up so I can pour it. So I'm going to take that hot fudge. He's going to heat, heat, heat it up so I can pour it onto this crust and make a chocolate layer here of um, hot fudge. And then we're gonna make the pumpkin um, filling. So I can start with that too while he is heating that up for me. My cameraman is very handy. I've got two and a half cups of heavy cream. I'm gonna start, rah, get it in the bowl. Try to get it measured it in the bowl before you guys got here. And then I have two cans here of um, pumpkin puree. So I'm gonna dump that in here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so yummy! Something new, I mean, the picture of this, this, re this recipe was in one of my new magazines that came. I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. And I'm a fan of doing um, pie things in a, in a rectangular pan. I don't usually use a pie shape, because I just think the square shape is easier to cut and easier to, to serve. Um, and if you want to cut the pieces small, oh yeah, he got this so I could pour it. Um, then you can cut them small, like in little one inch or two inch bite sized pieces. Um, so I just prefer the rectangular shape. So again, when I saw this bar recipe, I thought, oh my gosh, let's try that. So I've got two cans, or one 28 ounce can, but I didn't have that, I only had 14 ounce. Um, cans of the pumpkin, and I've got two and a half cups of cream. And then I'm going to pour some hot fudge on this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. Check this out. Oh my gosh, it's going to be great. Now I'm skipping a step in the recipe. What? Um, the recipe says to uh, make this hot fudge. Well, who's got time for that? Today, I did not. I have been real estating today, and I'm going to show property right after the show. So I did not have time to add on making my own hot fudge. So we're just gonna pour some on here and make a layer of this yumminess. Oh my gosh, this crust smells so good. And again, I just used the Oreo cookies, a little stick of butter, a little salt, a little sugar, and made the crust, cooked it for 12 minutes, and then let it cool so I could do this next step here. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? How awesome is this? Oh yeah. Now if you want to make your own hot fudge, you'll see the recipe when I post it uh, is, you know, make your own. A pound of semi-sweet chocolate, some whip, some whip, uh, whipping cream, warm it up, boom, hot fudge. But I am skipping a step here today. But oh my gosh, is this going to be good. Oh, my crust is nice and crisp. Oh yeah, but nice and cool. So we didn't make a big mess of our filling. Oh my gosh. This is great. <laughs> You know what I do at night? I sit around and read recipes and read some and go, oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> so that is what I do. And this one was one of those like, oh my goodness, that is a new idea for Thanksgiving or holiday um, dessert. Okay, so we have hit a little bit on the edges here and I will have a layer going of our hot fudge. Yeah, baby. 
You're supposed to let this set for a minute, so it's going to set while we make our filling here. Okay, so now seriously, an Oreo cookie crust covered in a layer of hot fudge. Does it need any more than that? <laughs> Should we just stop there? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm going to move this for a second while I um, pull over the mixer here for my Instagrammers so they can see. So I've got the cream and the pumpkin in here. So I will get that started. I'm going to put in five, five eggs and I'm going to crack them on the counter because then I don't get eggshells in my, in my filling. Hey Denise. Okay, honey, can you get me an egg? Because I just lost one. It's between my feet. <laughs> my gift for doing too many things at once. <laughs> one dead egg at my feet. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Hey, Denise, Jill. I think I saw my sister. Hello, sister. How yummy this looks. Oh my gosh. Um, oh yes, I know. If this is going to be done, I could sweeten them up. <laughs> I know, I'm going out to Ojai. And it is so gorgeous today. Talk about a great day to go to Ojai. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Speaking of that, we have a listing, Darling One, um, entry level. So if you know anyone for River Park, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, so cute. Condo, two car garage, 425, great location, close to the retail, the movies and stuff. So. If you know someone looking for that, let me know, because I'd be happy to show that to you tomorrow. And in the meantime, we're making pumpkin pie filling for our chocolate yumminess. Let me whip this up real quick. I've got the oven on, I've got the mixer on, and then I'm going to use the Cuisinart too today to shred our Brussels sprouts. Oh my gosh. Yum! Oh my gosh. Hey Deb, how are you? Welcome. We are going to make two things on opposite ends of the spectrum. A healthy Brussels sprout salad as a, as a side idea for Thanksgiving. You can make ahead. And then we're making these pumpkin pie bar chocolate yumminess. So let me get all my things in here and see you guys, your comments. Um, I have got the sugar measured somewhere. Where's my sugar? Here it is, right in front of me. So half a cup of sugar going in. Try not to spill it like I have an egg between my legs. Uh, <laughs> two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh my gosh. Hey, Janet, how are you? We are making yumminess today. So two teaspoons of vanilla going in. Of course, I like them heaping when you're making something like this. A little splash more. Um, vanilla. And then we have pumpkin Spice. Woo! Of course, I'm down to the end of my pumpkin spi pie spice that we made at the beginning of pumpkin month, um, but I'm going to use the end of it, I think, right now. So a teaspoon and a half is going in of this. Oh my gosh, it looks so yummy. Of our homemade pumpkin pie spice, I have like half a teaspoon left, I think. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Laura, we are making a pumpkin pie chocolate bar deliciousness and then a healthy Brussels sprout salad idea as a side for Thanksgiving. Something new and different and pretty. It's going to be really pretty too. So we'll do that in one next. But I thought I would get this mixer out of the way and the noise done so we can carry on. I will have a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to get some salt going. <laughs> as I dance around my egg, I'm going to take a picture of what's between my legs. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, about half a teaspoon of salt going in there. Um, it's always important to salt uh, yeah, your, your sweet things because it just brings out the flavor and cuts some of the sugar. So I'm sure we've got everything in here. Pumpkin, our sugar, eggs, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, salt. Check! So let's put this into our crust that I just covered in chocolate, OMG, and we'll put this in the, up in the oven. And then uh, this is going to be one. I will post a picture when this is done because I think it's going to be beautiful. Now, I already um, whipped some whipped cream for fresh whipped cream to serve this with. And it is going to be delicious. But let me just taste this really quick before I make a whole slab pie of it and see how it tastes. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Oh, my gosh, you guys. 
Uh, yeah. Can you say deliciousness? Yes. I'm having to get this out of the way. Is that out, out of the way there, director? And I will bring back our crust. So again, the Oreo crust that we pre-baked and um, the chocolate layer of hot fudge on there. And I'm actually going to put a little more vanilla in this and a little more pumpkin pie spice just because I like it. A little bit more and mix that in. Oh my gosh, when this is baked, oh my goodness gracious, it's going to be delicious. Yes, it is. I've been getting some really cool ideas um, from you guys who are sending me your family favorites, so keep them coming. If you have a favorite holiday recipe that you guys always make at the holidays, send it to me so we can share it with the world. Okay, let's see if I can not make a mess doing this. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I think we're going to have more pumpkin pie than we have room for because I don't want to make a total mess in the oven. Let's see. A little more. I'm going to show property and Gary's going to be baking this off, making sure we get it out. So I don't want to have it be too much of a mess. So we have a whole bunch left. So I will just make, you know what I'm going to do? I will make this into a pudding. So I'll show you guys while you're here because you know sometimes things happen. And I'm going to, oh my gosh, look at that. Yummy. I'm going to grab a couple, just happen to have a couple here, um, um, oven proof ramekins. So this will bake up to be like a pumpkin pudding. Of course, also, if anyone's gluten free, this would work for them too, to just make these without the crust. So we'll see how these turn out. But there we go. We have a couple gluten free pumpkin pu uh, puddings and then our big one. So let me stick this in the oven and I will move on to my Brussels sprout salad yumminess. So this is going in. Oh my goodness. Hey Erin, how are you? You guys, seriously, how good does this look? Oh my gosh. Okay. And I'm going to set the timer for 25 minutes so I don't forget that it's in there. And move on to my, I'll put those, oh, hold on, put my puddings in too. Hold on. Hold that thought. Oh my gosh. Because those will be delish too. And I'm going to move on to our Brussels sprout salad. So, let me uh, switch machines here. I need to move this mat down here because I don't step in this egg. <laughs> One jump for it. And off the counter he went. Okay, next machine, La Machine. Ah, I got my cords all tied up here. Hold on, I gotta move my fish. Okay, here we are. Now, I have just the slicing blade in, uh, in here. I'm gonna slice up these Brussels sprouts that I have prepped. I sliced off all the ends and, um, you know, peel off anything that was brown. And now we're gonna put them in here. In the Cuisinart. I'm going to dump them in and slice away. So let's fill our little hole here and make some shaved Brussels sprouts. Now you could do this with a mandolin, you could do this with a knife, but I am doing this the quickest way I could think of and that is just like this. Uh, I have the original Cuisinart that one of my clients gave me just like the one my mom had and I love it. Makes very quick work of slicing br Brussels sprouts. <laughs> into very fine shaved pieces. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Another recipe I read and went, oh my gosh, that looks delicious. Let's make that. Yes. Okay. Oh, can't let go. All the safety items, they even have the safety gear back in the original Cuisinart. But I have the one that, you know, the new ones have that other kind of hole. That's why I like this one, because it has a bigger hole here. Shoot, I guess you call it. Okay. There we go. Come on, baby. Let's make some Brussels sprouts. Oh, that's a good idea, Hold. I'll put some um, uh, nutmeg on those in a second once we get done with our salad. So here we go with our shaved Brussels sprouts. 
So here is my salad items, because this is a make-ahead deal. I have some real Parmesan cheese, the pomegranate seeds, a bag of candied walnuts, and an avocado, because I'm going to toss this in a little while, but like for Thanksgiving, if you want to make something ahead, this is great. Now I could make the dressing in the bowl and put it in the bottom of the bowl while I'm, you know, and put it back in the fridge so I'm re ready to toss it when I serve it, but I'm going to make the dressing in a jar, but you could do it in the bottom of the bowl and leave it, because I'm going to use spinach. Um, the recipe I called for kale, but I prefer spinach. So I'm going to take, I just took some spinach, I spun it in the spinner. The organic spinach from Costco is the best. It's easy and it's usually very clean, but I'm making salad, so I usually cook it, but I'm going to make a salad, so there we go, here's our spinach. And on top of that, I'm going to put our Brussels sprouts that we just shaved, and look how pretty they are. Yum! And easy for our shaved Brussels sprouts. And just something different for a salad. So I just thought this one looked delish. So there we go. Move this out of the way for my director. He wants the things off the deck here. Off the deck. So we're going to clear the decks and now we're going to make our vinaigrette and get my cords out of the way here. There we go. How's that, sir? We good? Okay. Thumbs up from the director. And look at how pretty that is already. Our spinach and our Brussels sprouts. And look, they shaved into such cute little rings. Look at that. Totally cute. Yummy! So, our recipe for our vinaigrette is a basic vinaigrette. And I am going to start with some shallot, which I have chopped fresh. And I'm going to put, oh, about two tablespoons of shallot. I don't know what my, re my recipe says, but there is one. Hold on. Since I will be posting the recipe. Hey, Libby, how are you? Hey, Charlie, how are you? Beautiful day in Ojai. I'm headed up there in a little bit to show property. Uh, let's see, then our juice of a lemon. So we've got shallot. I picked a lemon already off the tree that I grew myself. And in goes the juice of a lemon. And then I have some garlic that I chopped already while I was waiting for you guys to try and make these go quick. So there's some fresh garlic going in there. And then I'm gonna use some red wine vinegar and I'm gonna use some balsamic. The recipe called for red wine vinegar, so I'm like, well, I have some, so I'll use a little bit of that. Because these recipes, you know, I make them my own. But then when you guys are, you know, making them, I want to try and make them true to what I, my inspiration recipe. But remember, always make it your own. With whatever you've got on hand, you can make it with what you've got. The pleasures of COVID cooking and using what's in your pantry. And look, I'm using my fancy olive oil that I got at Via Vi in Montecito on Heather's birthday. We bought this fancy, fancy olive oil that you don't cook with. It's just for this kind of thing, for salads. Um, and for dipping, if you like, you know, like to dip your bread, this is the fancy kind you use. So delicious. I'll put about, oh, well, you know, a third of a cup or so of the yumminess olive oil in here. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper. So if you've never made a vinaigrette, this is how you do it. Yum. Lots of pepper. You know, I can never have too much pepper, so we're going to give that a few turns there. And I make sure I got all my things in here. Shallot, garlic, salt and pepper. I'm getting it all over the place. The red wine, vinegar, lemon. Yep. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Smells so good, that fresh lemon and the vinegar. And I will put more pepper on the top of the salad too, but got some, got some in the jar. <laughs> some in the jar, some on the counter, and an egg between my legs. <laughs> Was it yesterday, Friday the 13th? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, yummy. So there we go, our vinaigrette. How easy was that? Fresh and delicious and yummy. So I am gonna shake, 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 baby. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I can put some Dijon too. This, re this recipe didn't call for Dijon, but I usually do. My favorite, grape coupon. What's your favorite? That's my favorite. And I could put some in there too. But let's taste it and see what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, yum! 
it smells so good. I am making two, by the way. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Lemony and the vinegar, very good. Um, it'd be good too if you added some mustard. If you like it, it's good too. And the mustard also will help it emulsify when you shake it, so it makes it kind of creamy. It's really cool. Um, I also have some short ribs in the oven today. There's this recipe I found for short ribs, but it's something I can't make quick enough for the show. But this recipe looks delicious, and I'll post it. We'll see how it turns out. Because um, I was at Costco yesterday braving it on a Friday. Oh my gosh. No paper products, public service announcement. There's nothing. Um, but the meat guy was bringing out the most beautiful short ribs like you've ever seen. And so I knew I had seen this recipe for short ribs. So I said, ooh, well, I'm going to need those. So for Saturday night, card night, we are having short ribs and br br Brussels sprout salad and pumpkin pie chocolate slab bars. <laughs> Yum! It's always a good night around here on Saturday night. Oh my gosh. So when I'm ready to serve this tonight, um, I will dress it and then we're going to put this bag of candied walnuts on top and we're going to put the container of um, pomegranate seeds and I just bought them. If you want to brave the pomegranate, be my guest, peeling the seeds out. An avocado, I actually have two, but avocado that I put in the fridge so it's cold when I put it on the salad. Then I'm just going to shave big shavings of this fresh parm um, onto the top of the salad, toss it all, put a little more pepper, and boom, you have a really pretty red and green and yummy salad idea for something different and a way to use Brussels sprouts raw. Um, again, I saw another recipe that roasted the Brussels sprouts. So you cut them in half and roast them on a, pan, on a sheet pan and then toss them with pomegranate seeds um, and some nuts and a little bit of goat cheese or feta cheese, whatever you like with a vinaigrette. Oh my gosh, look delicious too. So I have been having a lot of fun reading recipes, as you can see. And there's an endless supply of them. Oh my gosh, you should see my files <laughs> of yummy things I found. I'm like, what can I make fast enough for the show? So those are my two ideas for today, a yummy, new, healthy side for your Thanksgiving dinner, or any dinner, and then also this pumpkin chocolate slab deliciousness that I will definitely take a picture for you guys when we get that out. Um, and then in the meantime, we have some birthday shout outs today. Hey, Mary Chris, do you see what we're, what we're making today? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so Laura, you'll have to try. I'll, let, I'll post this recipe for the short ribs because, man, it looks yummy. But I'll let you know after we eat it. Um, so let me get on to our birthday shout-outs for today. So hold on. Let me move my yummy salad over here. And I'm going to um, bring over my fish. Because if you've commented or liked on, these vi on the videos on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, our YouTube is Ventura Real Estate. So you can always go there and see the edited versions. And please subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000. We're almost there. So Ventura Real Estate on YouTube is our channel. Um, and then Facebook, too. We're on there, of course, live Wednesdays and Saturdays. But today's birthday shout-outs are... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We had a special one yesterday. I talked to my dear friend. Here, my birthday shout-out hat. My dear friend, Dan Wilbanks. We've been on so many adventures together, including China. That was a wild one, like 30 years ago. Um, it was her birthday yesterday, so happy birthday to you, dear Jan. And then today, it is Stephanie Molina's birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear friend. Another adventure. We went to Israel together last year, so that was another international fun trip um, that we went on that was amazing. Um, and her son just dropped an album today, so check that out. Uh, and then Lisa Martinez, birthday is Monday. Happy birthday to you, dear friend. They are also Gary and Lisa. Um, we have two other couples that are our dear friends that are Gary and Le Le uh, Le Le Lisa. But we are GaryandLisa.com, so you can find us there. <laughs> and then for my giveaway today, look at how cute these are. These are these totally cute, look, I found these little, um, they, they can hold a plant. They say thankful. Because, of course, what's the, uh, November about being thankful? And you can put a plant in here, but you see, you can see through it. Or you could use it for a candle, too. So I have two of these that I thought were so cute. And I bought them all that she had there because they were darling. And here we go on our drawing. Who is feeling lucky today? Let me see your comments, hearts, and likes here. Again, if you're watching it on the replay, hashtag re uh, replay. 
I know. Hey, Deb, what am I going to see you? I think I have a gift for you in my gift box that you won, a prize, but I have not seen you. Oh my gosh, in way too long. Okay, Rob Lemons, winner, winner of our thankful little um, plant or candle holder that I just thought was so freaking cute. And then our second winner today is Allery Middlebrook. Well, that's so perfect because Allery owns a plant company. She is an expert in California na native plants. So she will have lots of options to put in her little thankful um, plant dash candle hol uh, holder there. So remember, um, there are only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good attitude and always do your best. And our national days is quite a few things, but one of them that I noticed that tomorrow is, um, today is National Pickle Day, Spicy Guacamole Day, and Seatbelt Day, just in case you wanted to know. But tomorrow is Spicy Hermit Cookie Day. Now, I've never even heard of that, and I am a cookie freak. So, I had to look it up, and it looks like from the recipe, because I just printed one, it's around here, it's nuts and dates and cloves and cinnamon, like all the things I love, in a cookie, and I've never heard of them, so you better believe we will be making spicy hermit cookies tomorrow to uh, try out that recipe that I just learned about because tomorrow is spicy hermit cookie day. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and remember we do real estate. If you know anyone thinking about buying or selling property um, in Ventura County, of course, we're licensed in the whole state. Um, think of us, visit us at GaryAndLisa.com, your real estate edge. And we are here Wednesdays and Saturdays live giving you great cooking ideas and this month giving you ideas for Thanksgiving. So our two today, the yummy, healthy Brussels sprout salad and the chocolate pumpkin slab pie. So thanks for coming today. We will see you next time on Recipe of the Day.